tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. Here for some car pack cars today. Actually, uh, was excited when I heard some news on some of these car packs that were getting released. So let's take a look at these car packs we did get. Um, yes, this one is one I was super excited to hear about. If you guys don't know, I do own a Veloster myself as well as my Mark V Rabbit. The 2019 Hyundai Veloster and and turbo free car pack it was really awesome when they did the release of the veloster n and the new veloster turbo that they immediately showed this trailer at the release pretty sweet that we get both these cars for free can't wait to get these things ripped on at the norschleiven and then uh we got our totino's forza motorsport 7 car pack the january car pack and uh it's got a banger first off the number 24 bmw team rll M6 GTLM race car, that 1993 Porsche 911 Turbo S. We got a Volkswagen Type 3 uh, Citroen C or 2 CV, sorry, 1997 Lotus Elise GT1, the 67 Nissan R380, R380, <laughs> R382, the 1968 Subaru 360. So definitely going to rip into some of these cars. I think we're going to start off with the two Veloster and, and Veloster Turbo cars here. We're going to rip them into the and get a little, uh, get a little you know, fun in these cars. And then we'll probably get into the Tostinos pack, especially with that uh, BMW M6 just creeping back there. That thing looks sick. I was excited that that car came to the you know, Forza Motorsport 7 because I was actually very upset when I could not drive it in Project Cars 2 because of the wheel glitch issues and everything on those lines. So it is nice that it is here and we get to rip it around. So we're going to head into the North Live. And as you can see, I already have the Turbo N already there. But uh, I think we're going to go with the... We're going to start off with the normal 2019 Hyundai Veloster Turbo. We're going to... Uh, see how this thing is i'll take a look inside real quick it's definitely a, a mean aggressive looking front end um i like my veloster it's it's a lot of fun to drive little turbo 1.6 liter turbo it's you know it's a fun little daily driver so we're gonna rip this at north in here we're gonna rip the stock one then we're gonna go to the r r 275 horsepower i believe ready to attack those ford focus sts as hyundai said all right, so let's take a look-see here. Rip into Forza Vista. Definitely looks pretty sweet. The back end is uh, a little more bubblier than I had hoped it would be, but it still looks pretty good. Open up the back. Pretty roomy trunk. Open up the single door because we got the suicide, or not suicide, the third door on the other side. Interior of it. Um... Oh, this one's automatic. It's a DSG. Oh, paddle shifters for the win. We're going to be driving it in manual, though. I mean, it looks cool. I wonder if the engine looks the same as my Veloster I have. It's very, very similar and almost identical to one that is in my car. Why won't it let me go down? So, all right. We're going to rip this here at North Schleiven and uh, see how this thing goes. Sounds pretty cool. We're gonna see the compare the difference probably in times between this one and the R. Definitely got some torque steer. Nimble little cars. My controller battery's low. Oh, that's okay. I'm not on a controller, I'm on a wheel. For having limited power, this thing sounds sick though, that blow up valve. Or recirc valve or whatever they call it in this car actually it just recycles back into the intake system a lot of people take that off or disconnect that hose and plug off the intake and you know allow it to blow off an atmosphere this thing sounds so sick though the back end's going on me um i thought i wasn't gonna like it at first but it's not bad Ooh. don't wreck the car don't wreck the new car the car's not even out yet and we almost wrecked it it's a peppy little car i definitely uh 
definitely like this uh, little uh, 1.6 liter turbo in this Loster. It's got a lot of get up. Brakes are pretty good on it. Definitely can, excited to get in that Veloster end though. 275 horse here at Norschleiven. We're going to rip this first, see what we can do for a time, and then we'll probably uh, rip the yen and see if we can't compare it. As long as we get two solid, decent runs, you know, get a chance to compare the stock turbo Veloster 2019 versus the 2019 Veloster N. And that's where I mess up. Yep, uh, yep, yeah, we're going to do it. Here are the rewinds. Uh, yeah, for sake of uh, not having to run this again, we're just going to redo that section, and there we go. Oh, no. Save it. Just tap. Just tap. Uh, get wrecked. I think we're just going to restart it and uh, not wreck this time. This is why, you know, we wreck our brand new... Brand new Veloster. Hopefully we don't wreck the end. I'd be very sad if we wreck the end. So apparently I need to slow down more to the section that I thought. Ooh, get a little tail happy on that one. Definitely a lot of body roll. Definitely going to be uh, probably doing some tuning to this car. Suspension wise, power wise. I did build a, a 2013 Veloster Turbo Drift car. Rear wheel drive swapped in this game. Maybe I'll be working on maybe doing an all-wheel drive swap on the end. Maybe another rear-wheel drive swap Veloster Drift car. Maybe hatchback, you know, hatch life. All right, so the brakes aren't as good as I'd hoped. So that's one thing. Hopefully the end has better brakes. Jeez, I either that or I just can't drive today. But I'm still going to send this and see... How this works. Here's the view. Let's go inside. Do a little uh, in car. Now, I do like the gauges. I, I liked. Uh, not a fan of the red, though. Mine has blue gauges, blue and white. And they went to a red style in this one. I guess it kind of, you know, accents the red line in the front bumper. But kind of clashing with the blue a little bit Ooh. a little bit understeer but still not too bad go better no we're gonna wreck oh it definitely needs some grippier tires <laughs> having a little bit of issues with this car with tire grip but I might be trying to overdrive the car than how it should be driven. I'll definitely probably try to drive a little bit better with that end. So I think what we're going to do is get to a point where I know where we are and compare times between the end. Ooh. Probably get to maybe the first carousel and then we'll compare times for the end and the Veloster for sake of, you know, time constraints because I want to get to some other cars in this episode like the N and that BMW so we're going to get to a point where I know where we are missing the outer brake lights kind of broke the taillights hopefully uh, hopefully Hyundai's not mad at me for wrecking their brand new car that's not even out yet So I think it's going to be right around here. We're going to stop it here soon. Let's switch over to the end. Go to the fifth. Go nice and easy. It handles pretty well. I think the tire lack there of tire grip is a little bit uh, disconcerting, but you know we'll probably we could fix that with a little tuning. Definitely going to probably be tuning one of these things for sure. Do enjoy it. it is a fun little nimble car I said I'll probably be doing a drift build on it okay so I can see that first carousel so we're gonna end it at this dog leg right here and at a time of five minutes basically so we're gonna switch over to the end and run the end here see if we can uh, have a little bit better with the end maybe it's a better tuned suspension better tuned uh, 
you know, set up. Select cars. A loster and definitely looks so much so much more aggressive than the other one Oop, I home buttoned got the drill and slaughter brakes split exhaust instead of the you know center exit that is known on the Velocitors figure engine definitely looks ah this one's a manual so we're good we got three pedals so yep the interior of this one kind of very similar I like the N and the N on the steering wheel. They're kind of taking that from the R. Like the Golf R's have this very similar styling. So uh, we're going to rip this N. See what we can do. See if we can't see what the difference in time and handling is. Then we'll probably get to that BMW race car that I'm itching to drive. But I went to itching to drive this. I do like that triangle light. In the spoiler. Ooh, this car has a lot of torques here. Yep. The suspension is a lot stiffer. Doesn't have as much body roll on your braking, not as much dive. And uh, the acceleration is definitely there. Oh yeah, so much better handling. Definitely liking how this ends, how this ends driving right now. Probably should have stayed in third, but very similar back ends. Just has a spoiler, split exhaust, and that uh, triangle style third brake light. Oh yeah, definitely a lot more speed. Didn't want to wreck it. Don't want to wreck the end. This thing handles really nice. This would definitely be a, a fun little track monster to build. Throw some more power into it, lower it a little bit, get some grip of tires under this thing. This thing is, uh, this is a quick little car. Slow down here so we don't wreck the end. Oh yeah, handling is by far. It handles so much nicer than the stock one, the stock turbo. It is kind of cool to see Hyundai and uh, Kia stepping up with their car game, especially with the, the Kia Stinger coming out and now the Veloster coming out with the Veloster Turbo and the Veloster N, which never... Ugh! Yep, same spot. Oh, well, we'll keep going. Although it is kind of... We did the same thing in the other car. This turn always gets me. It is kind of very very reminiscent of how Volkswagen did the DTIs and the R Golf R but I do like it it's a lot of fun handles pretty well see I like these gauges better I like these the blue the blue gauges a lot better than those red ones sounds good too I wonder how it would sound in uh, real life with a you know a nice Throaty open exhaust. Oh, I wish the steering wheel turned, you know, 900 degrees like an Assetto. There we go. We got it now. Oh, pushing this car to the edge. we go definitely getting a good handle on this right now switch back to the outside view I definitely like hearing it definitely want to put a little more power in this car get some fire out those tailpipes not used to driving front-wheel drive cars in this game there's definitely a lot of difference with the torque steer for sure So, my impressions on the 2019 Veloster Turbo and the Veloster Turbo, or the Veloster Turbo N, the Veloster N, uh, yup, I like them, I like them a lot, definitely going to be doing a, a build on this N here, 
probably maybe an all-wheel drive build with a lot of power or maybe a rear-wheel drive drift build. Definitely intrigued to do a hatchback drift build and uh, get a hatchback dialed in. So as for time on the, the ring, uh, obviously the end seems to be a lot faster, maybe. I think we're coming up to that section where I cut off the turbo. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Ooh. Okay, well, if I didn't completely screw up that turn, <laughs> we are faster in the end, obviously, because of the more power. So I think it's time to switch over to that beautiful BMW race car and get a proper, proper lap here at Norschleiven. Well, I say proper lap, but... Hopefully I can get a proper lap. So we're gonna go select cars. We're gonna go buy a car. And we're gonna buy the BMW M6. Oh, that thing is gorgeous. Yes. Uh, yes, we wanna race this thing. Let's go. Oof. As a BMW technician on the day today, this thing is amazing. Oh. Oh my god, this thing sounds amazing. Gotta make sure we get those tires warmed up. Oh, the crackles out of this thing. Oh. Get off the grass, there we go. This thing just crackles so much. I, I am pretty upset that I never got to see one of these in person yet. They came out a year after I moved out of Florida, so I didn't get a chance to go 24 hours of Daytona when they brought them out. These things are amazing cars. Oof. Here we go. Inside view. Dang, definitely sweet cockpit view on this car. Still hear the crackles. This is the one car of this car pack that I was definitely super excited to drive. Oh yeah. I could see getting into some races with the team on here. Ripping this things around. Just up a little bit so we don't... I we got the downforce. Yep. Definitely got downforce. Downforce and brakes. I mean, we're in a Le Mans car, so... Oh my gosh. So excited the fact that I actually get to drive one of these right now because like I said before I was very upset when I couldn't drive it in Project Cars 2 because of the wheel glitch issue that I still have yet to find a solution for and I don't think they have found a solution for. Should probably try to get back into Project Cars 2 and see if it's been fixed for the Logitechs. Maybe there's an update that came out. I forgot rear wheel drive. Thing got a little bit squirrely on me. Things got enough power to break the tires loose for sure. Go back in the outside view so we can hear those cracks. Oh. Didn't know what gear I wanted to find. Oh. Okay, we're not trying to drift this car. Although, maybe make a drift build out of this. Probably not. I say everything drift build, but this is a race car. Through and through. Oof. This thing is so much fun. Definitely excited that BMW decided to use. At first, when they first came out with these M6s and they got rid of the um, Z4s, I was kind of like, oh, you guys are going to a bigger car. What the heck? But then once, once they came out with it and it came out and I was able to see it, it's, you know, it's it's such a beautiful, a beautiful looking car. It's, I mean, I'm looking around, going to wreck it, but it's just a menacing and aggressive looking car. I mean, I've driven some, you know, very highly tuned M6s, and uh, I can only imagine a full track-blown M6, what it would drive like. Maybe one of these days I'll get an actual chance to drive one of these things or be in one. Probably not. But, you know, I can dream, can't I? Probably did not need to brake nearly as much as I did there. Oh 
man. This tap. Oof. This car. So definitely going to be looking into some more of the cars from the car pack here in later episodes. So you guys know you can follow, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which found in the description box below. I'm going to have fun driving this car for sure. Definitely going to be uh, trying to rip these in some of the uh, events that I have not completed yet in the, you know, driver's cups. Really need to get back into doing more driver's cup for races. Definitely want to get back into doing some more racing. Doing some racing online. Doing some league racing. Uh, definitely being intrigued to do some league racing with uh, some of the events that do not have collisions because we all know how online races go with you know collisions you know people don't know how to break and they use you to break so there we go oh uh, oh uh, this thing's really low I probably should have ran the outside this thing just wants to get sideways I think we should probably try and send it sideways before we end this episode off. Maybe right here? A little, little e-brake? <laughs> M6 race car, they probably would not be happy that this thing is going sideways right now. Surprised that almost linked that. Definitely not set up by any means to slide. But we're making it happen. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so I think that's good to me for this episode. Here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys like this video you want to see more, you know what to do. Tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support. Whew. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, <laughs> and I'm out. Send it. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she